Hi, good evening, welcome back. We're gonna focus on the middle splits tonight. So have a towel handy or um, a small uh, t-shirt or something. So we're just gonna start with a nice chest opener just to reverse what we did today, which was probably a lot of sitting. So take your hands with the towel and you're gonna open it up. Good, so just opening the chest. So this is a small towel. So depending on how flexible you are in the chest, will determine how far you can go. Good. So we're just gonna take a nice little swings all the way down and then all the way back up and around. This is just to open up the chest. It's really good to stretch it out, lengthen. Two more times. Good, last one. Nice, all right, put that towel down. We're gonna go into a uh, frog stretch. So this is really good for, uh, again, the middle splits. So you're just basically going to come in a nice, big, wide, open, like, squatted position. You want to try to get your hips back towards your uh, knees. So your knees and hips are in one line. My knees are at a 90 degree angle. And we're just going to hold right here. Try not to let the hips come forward and also try not to sit too far back. So you want to be right on top so that you're making one line from uh, one knee to the opposite side. So here you want to just try to relax all the muscles around your hip as much as possible. Good, breathe. Inhaling in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Last two breaths here. Last one. Good. And just carefully come on out. <laughs> All right. So we're going to come into a nice, another good uh, groin opener. So that's mainly the thing with the, with the middle splits is that you really want to open up those inner thighs and groin. So we're going to come into a nice big second position with the legs. So the knees are going outside, tracking over those toes. Come down, bring uh, two hands down into the ground, and then just reach one leg over to the side. Now here, you wanna just sink the hips down. I see a lot of people go like this with their heel. Your heel should stay on the floor, all right? And if you're having trouble with this, then you can stay up here. If this is where you are, you can assist yourself with a chair or something but don't compensate this way. You wanna keep the heel down on the floor and let the hips sink down, but at the same time, I'm still pulling up through my lower belly. And if you're here, you can just take your hands into prayer pose like this, push that hip back or that knee back, open up the hip. And just breathe. So this is gonna open up those inner thighs, open up the groin, open up underneath the legs. Good. You can close the eyes if that feels better for you, if that helps you relax more. This elbow is pushing my knee back, so I'm not letting my knee fall forward. My knee is actually still tracking over my big toe, so it's pressing back, opening up. My elbow is working here. It's not just hanging out, right? I'm creating space, opening up. Last two breaths. Good. 
Good. Let's come to the other side. Use your hands to assist yourself. And you're just going to reach that leg out. Good. Come to wherever you are. Again, you can use those two hands if you're here and work your way down. Otherwise, if you're here, then come all the way down. Bring that elbow into your knee. Push your knee actively back. Push up against it. So remember the opposition. We're always moving in opposition. I'm lifting up through my belly and chest. My lower belly lifts up. And then I'm pushing down into the floor with my hips, my, um, my heel, <clears throat> and even my shoulders. So there's always this like up and down feeling. And breathe. Pushing the knee back with the elbow. Again, you can stay here if you're down here and this is more comfortable, but even keep, still keep that knee back. Try not to let the knee fall forward and roll onto the inner part of your, your foot. Your, uh, your foot's arch should actually be lifted up off of the ground. Good, two more breaths. Nice, come all the way down, good job. Okay, we're gonna use the wall for, uh, for our split, okay? So we're going to push our hips all the way against the wall. So you're gonna bring your hips all the way against the wall, so you're all the way in. Good, and then you're gonna bring the legs up the wall. Arms are just gonna be out nice and wide. And then you're gonna just let the legs fall open wherever you're at, okay? So I'm pretty flexible here, so I can take my legs almost all the way down to the ground. But if you can't, that's totally okay. Wherever you are, just let gravity pull them down and just hang out. This is gonna to totally open up the hips, open up everything in the inner thighs. 